your boy Fisher. Guys, before I start this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on my social media. We'll be in the description box. Below, give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cause you a fucking penny. I'm channel a lot. I really appreciate it. And if you hit the thumbs up button, use all my film links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get to the review. I got the new G Feel. I got the new G Feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hack and Slash. Friday the 13th, Jason, Jason flavor, hey, all right, so, got this at the, uh, where did I get this at, vitamin shop, no, I got this at GNC, got this at GNC, this is one of the newer flavors, there's three flavors, they got a Chucky flavor, and then they got a, uh, maybe Nightmare on Elm Street, I don't know, something like that, there's another one. There's three or uh, horror film type of uh, drinks out there. So this is the Hack and Slash. All right, 140 milligrams of caffeine. Um, that's pretty much it, really. So 140 milligrams of caffeine. Like I said, it's a uh, movie, a movie one. Killer Focus. It's got Killer Focus. Zero sugars, yada yada. Let's go and try it out. You know what I'm saying? There ain't much more else to say, really. There ain't much more else to say. Hey. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a little smell test before you stick your tongue in there. Get your, you see what you say? See what you're getting yourself into? It smells a little interesting. It smells a little interesting. All right. Here we go. Pack a slash. G feel action. Here we go. Hmm. It's kind of a, it's very light. It's very light. Um, it's a, it's a light flavor, man. It's a light flavor. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just a very light flavor. Um, and you know what? I actually I actually looked it up to see what this was supposed to taste like, just so I could see what I was getting myself into. And it's a laundry list of ingredients. It's a laundry list of flavors. It's like orange. It's like blood orange. It's like passion fruit, lime. Um, there's a couple more flavors that I'm not thinking about the top of my head. Um... What are some other citrus flavors? I don't know. Passion fruit, I don't even think it's a citrus. It's just, I don't think it is. Anyways, <clears throat> it's a laundry list of, uh, of, of flavors, but the having a laundry list of flavors and having this kind of profile just doesn't make sense because it's a very light flavor and I'm not getting an aggressive amount of any of those flavors. It's just like a, a light version of all of it together. You know, I could pick up the, <clears throat> I could pick up the orange in there. I could pick up the lime in there, the lemon, the passion fruit. I really don't taste really that much. Um, it's a, it's a blend of everything, but it's a light flavor. So there's not much of a flavor profile. Not much going on. It's not bad. It's not bad. Would I buy it again? Nah. Nah, I probably wouldn't. It's not bad, though. Not much going on. It's good, though. Not amazing. So, that's what I got. As far as ratings, I'm going to throw this in the... 825 Yeah, 8.25. That's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Everything you know is in the description box below. We're progressing and progressing. And if you guys have tried this flavor out, let me know what the fuck you think in the comments section below. And other than that, we'll check you guys later. Yay.